Biography on Dr. William N. Schoen. So quick facts, he was born in New York City, New York, December 6, 1915, and passed away August 6, 1996 in Sun City, Arizona. He is known as a pioneering psychologist. Some of his pop include Principles of Psychology, which he co-authored with Dr. Fred S. Keller. This was a very influential text that they put together that really tied psychology and behaviorism together. So they talked about behaviorism and things such as conditioning, reflexes, responses, punishment, and tied it also into psychology. He also went on to create Religion and Human Behavior in 1982, Stimulus Schedules 1972, and this is also in two, sorry, in addition to numerous other literary articles, texts, and editorials that he himself authored. So his contributions include that he is a behaviorist who helped establish psychology as a reputable discipline at American universities. Psychology was still sort of new, so he helped pave the way for psychology by talking about behaviorism, how behavior affected us, and tying that into it. He studied responses to stimuli and rewards in animal as well as human behavior via his experiments, and his own and original contributions were inspired by Ivan Pavlov, as we know Pavlov, the dogs and the bell, as well as B.F. Skinner. All of these tied into the man that he was and the experiments that he So his professional life and works, he graduated with his undergrad in 1937 from the City College. He later graduated with a Ph.D. from Columbia University in 1942, and at the stage of life he began to lecture and teach psychology at Columbia University. It was very pivotal during that time because psychology was so new, he was really laying the foundation, making the curriculum, and a lot of the things that he was teaching his students, these were experiences and experiments they were doing with him firsthand. They had never been done before, so they really were part of the science and the scientific learning process of psychology as well as behaviorism. Questions of Dr. Schoenfeld's work. So there is a quote from an article about him. It says, in a carefully devised set of experience, experiments, sorry, in 1953, he led a team of Columbia psychologists in discovering that anxiety caused the human heart rate to slow rather than quicken under certain timing of stimuli. He really focused on different types of stimuli um, the schedules of stimu stimuli and stimulus schedules in general, one of the books he wrote, talked about this and how certain timing affects us. Some timings would quicken our heart rate and our responses, heavy breathing, others would slow it, but it would still exhibit that anxiety. From reinforcement, punishment, reflexes, or even conditioning, he tackled many previous notions with a new and more defined scope using a behaviorist mindset. Famous experience, experiments, I keep saying experiences, I apologize, and studies. Dr. Schoenfeld often studied or conducted studies using the following. And he didn't just do this on his own, he also did this with his students. And that's what makes him so influential. Well, one of the many things, because his students were learning firsthand from him and really putting into this learning and building the behavior and psychology model themselves because they were involved in all of his experiments. It had never been done before, and they had a hand in writing this part of history. So, his studies included behavioral traits on. Rhesus monkeys, cardiac rates when exposed to different stimuli at different times. We talked about how anxiety and the stimuli at different times would either quicken our heart rate or slow it. Temporal discrimination, humanism, within his, especially within his experiments with 
monkeys and rats, seeing how their behavior matched up with behavior that we exhibited, various conditioning methods and their results, and the behavioral traits of rats. He did a lot of experience, experiments I'm sorry, on monkeys and rats and just really tied their behavior in with behavior that we exhibit as well. My interview questions for Dr. Schoenfeld are as follows. I wonder if he realized when he wrote Principles of Psychology with Keller if he knew how influential it would become, or if they were just writing their studies just for the sake of writing their studies and their findings. If there's any topic that Dr. Schoenfeld regretted not being a part of or regretted not furthering his research on during his years of practice, I would love to know what he wish he could have done more of and why that would be. I think it would be very interesting to see if there was other animals he wanted to test on or different paths that he wanted to take to look further into human or animal behavior. I want to also know which experiment or project were to be his favorite to work on and why. I don't know about you, but when I create something or when I create numerous things, be it experiments or, or artwork or anything of that nature, you always have a favorite. And I really want to know what experiment or project he really enjoyed. And finally, given the state of our current world and how far ABA and behaviorism have come, I want to know is there anything that Dr. Schoenfeld would have been studying now if he were alive? What topic he would really love to get his hands on? analyze and change if it need be. I have my reference also listed. Thank you so much for listening to My Behavior Biography. Thank you.